Good morning, Emmanuelites! As we continue our daily devotion this morning in Ezekiel chapter 19, verses 1 and 2, it says, Take up a lament concerning the princes of Israel, and say, What a lioness was your mother among the lions? She lay down among them and reared her cubs. The scope of this chapter is much the same with that of chapter 17, to foretell and lament the ruin of the house of David, the royal family of Judah, in the calamitous exit of the four sons and grandsons of Josiah, Jehoahaz, Jehoakim, Jeconiah, and Zedekiah, in whom that illustrious line of kings was cut off, which the prophet is here ordered to lament. The kingdom of Judah and the house of David are here compared to a lioness, and those princes to lions, that were fierce and ravenous, but were hunted down and taken in nets. In this chapter, God describes the kings of Judah as a mighty lion, whose roar conquered men. Yet, when the nations came against him, the lion was captured and carried away conquered. How does the conqueror become conquered? How does a mighty predator become a spectacle of men? God raised Israel. He established her in a plentiful land and fought on her behalf. Then, as she grew strong, she was able to conquer other lands and establish her borders through their tribute. But her strength is not what sustained her. Who gives the lion strength? It is God who created the lion. Even so, the Jews' military conquests and well-established kingdom were sustained by God. No matter how strong she may have appeared to the nations, it was not Israel that was strong, but instead it was God who gave her strength. If you plant a garden, do you not have the ability to go and uproot it? God gives nations, kings, and individuals strength. Even so, He can easily remove that strength. This chapter is a humbling reminder that since God is the source of all our strength and prosperity, He can take it away as easily as He can give it. As Jesus said, if we seek first after God in His kingdom, then God will take care of all of our needs. But if we turn away from God, we are assured that God will uproot us and plant us in the wilderness, turning us into spectacle of men. Thank you for joining us in our study today. See you again in our next devotion of Everyday God.